Hey guys, it's me Uni and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2. So we are have this new camp, new place, and I love this place. It looks amazing. And we are standing here about to shave. <laughs> this is how I loaded the game. So I guess he does want to shave. Should we do it? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Let's shave guys. It's time to do it. Okay, we did it. <laughs> but we're gonna leave the hair. I wanna see how long his hair can actually get. It you is pretty long now. Of your opinions, miss. Is that so? Yeah. Now make yourself useful. And the first part of useful <gasps> is not driving me into It looks so nice here. I ain't complaining. You are complaining. You just like a whiskey in this. Maybe after lunch, hey? The point in, I'm just saying. You're not saying, miss. You're shouting. Oh, say whatever you damn well please, but I tell you, if I don't get out of here soon, I'm gonna kill somebody. And if you don't stop hissing at me, I'm gonna kill you. You come Let's you're talk right. to them. Yeah. I like this spot. This is a shame we never ride that hanging Valentine, though. I ain't <laughs> chopping vegetables for a living. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. Was there Ooh. insufficient feathers in your pillow? I ain't lazy, Mr. Morgan. I'll work, but not this. Well, I ain't cooking work. <sighs> My husband and I, we shared the work. All of it. I was out in the fields. I can hunt, carry a knife, or use a gun. But I tell you, you keep me here, I'll skin this fat old coot and serve him for dinner. Watch your damn mouth, you crazy goddamn fishwife! <laughs> Enough, both of you. Whoa. <laughs> well, come with me then. You want to head out there, run with the man? So be it. But we do more than just hunting. We're hunted. And them things hunting us, so they got guns of their own. I ain't afraid of dying. Good. You need anything, Mr. Pearson? Maybe me and Mrs. Zad are gonna take a little ride. Yeah, sure. Here's my list, and can you post this letter for me while you're there? Sure. Come on, princess. Are you coming with me then, woman? <laughs> Oh, she's coming, yes. So I've graduated from chopping vegetables to shopping. Such a goddamn mouth. <laughs> okay, we're driving to the store. And we have a shopping list with us. Alright. So that's what we are doing today. You cool down <laughs> then yet? I guess. So I ain't no scullion. And I sure as hell ain't taking orders from that sweating half-wit. I guess we all gotta do our share, princess. <laughs> Where's that letter? Are uh, you reading his mail now? Oh, robbing and killing's okay, but letter reading's where we draw the line. Mm. Here. <clears throat> Dear Aunt Kathy. You are something else. I haven't heard from you in some time. So I pray to the Lord above that your health has not deteriorated further. Blah, blah, blah. It's boring. Ooh. <laughs> Wait a sec. Listen to this. Since we last corresponded, I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. <laughs> Before you ask, I am still yet to take a wife, but I can assure you it's not for a lack of suitors. <laughs> you ever actually even talk to a woman he ain't paid for? Oh, look. We're all hiding behind something. <laughs> and what's this? Return to Tacitus Hilgore. Oh, that. Now that's Dutch's idea. All male to be sent to the same alias. Whenever we set up somewhere new, Strauss, he heads into town. Tells him to start expecting mail from a Tassis Kilgore, or whatever they changed it to. <laughs> here, okay, give me here. that back. We got work to do. 
Okay, can we just park here and... Okay. Here we are. Yes, so, okay. What's the plan? I shoot the shopkeeper while you... <laughs> you insane? I thought really? we were outlaws. Really? Outlaws. Not idiots. <laughs> we rob fools that rob other people. These people, they're just trying to get by. So you head on in there and you buy some food to eat. No guns. You sure? This time, there'll be time for killing soon enough. What are you doing? I'm gonna go check the mail. Nothing exciting. Okay, we're going to the post office. So it's this way here. So we've been here already. This is roads. Oh, there was a dog. There was a dog. Oh, it's peeing. <laughs> what did you get there, Harold? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? So the post office, this is where it is. Let's go inside. Great Scott. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Can't we open the door normally? Can I help you, mister? Yes, I would like to post a letter. Send All a right. mail. This one here, yes. Okay, we did it. Okay, no trouble. Thank you. Okay, Bye that now. was it. <laughs> so cute. Awesome, lady. I got all, all right. Wagon oh. I could train my Back to the to wagon. Do this faster. Oh, the dog is here with us all the time. Does he want to come with us? I think this is everything. Thanks. Here. Take that for yourself, okay? Thanks. We'll give it back then. Jesus. <sighs> I didn't ask for his goddamn help. Okay, get on. I'm about done here. Hop on. I'll be right with you. Yes, I did. Why don't you drive? Okay. Oh, she's driving. Come on, lady, get a move on. I like Sadie, not Lady. I know. <laughs> get up. So, you get everything? I think so. And some new clothes, I see. Don't start. I can wear what I damn well want. Like I told you, my husband and I shared all the work. I wasn't some little wife with a flower in her hair making cherry pies all day. Yeah, I don't doubt that. You sure look the part now. Won't be long before you're smoking cigars and playing the harmonica. I'll have you know, I used to love playing the harmonica before. Well... My house and everything I own got burned to the ground. I know. I'm real sorry about what you... You know. Maybe I'll keep my eye out for another one. I don't want no pity. Just treat me equal and know nobody's taking nothing from me ever again. Just don't kill the camp cook. Hey there! Hey. Oh. What, uh... What you folks up to? Just heading home. You're in the Morn Raider country. Keep it cool. You Steve. need to pay a toll to pass through here. No, I don't think so. You don't think so? How about you pull over right now? Pull over? That's what I said. Hey! How's about this? Oh. <gasps> Go, go, go! Oh, <laughs> I knew something would happen. It's never peaceful. <laughs> oh, I got him. Oh, there's some more of them coming. Okay, okay, okay. Well, wanted to see some action, lady. Now you got your win. Okay, there, Shady. Oh, of course. You think I can't handle these fools? What? He's alive. He's alive. Damn it. Come on. I told you I could shoot a gun, didn't I? I don't remember. I'm asking you to prove it. 
I think we need to change our weapon because this one is uh, not good. Oh, we don't have uh, the one I like. Oh, wait, it's down here. Got him. Oh, wait, someone is here. Where, 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 where? I sight on the map. There! <laughs> there you were hiding. Is that everyone now? You goddamn coward! I think we're good here, Arthur. I shoot. Oh, wow. Okay, let's go home now. Why? Because you've caused enough trouble already. I'm fine. Yep. We showed those bastards, huh? Remind me not to get on your bad side. And they was clearly planning to bushwhack us. Did good. But that's a lot of mess to make near camp. Hope it don't bring <gasps> anyone. Yeah, we'll throw over him. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Maybe. If he oh. asked. But We're fine. Maybe not. So who do they say they were? Lemoyne Raiders? Yeah, something like that. Who knows? Anyway. Don't you go ribbon pissing about that letter. How dare you? I wouldn't dream of it. Right, you wouldn't. I have traveled widely, making no small name for myself. I won't be giving you no mail to post anytime soon, that's for sure. <laughs> I just want to peek in that journal of yours. The mind of bottles. Not a chance. <laughs> All right, we're back home. I mean, you things went okay, I guess. Not quite. <laughs> well, I'd like to say I missed your refined conversations, but I'd be lying. I, I enjoyed myself out there. Yes, we, uh, Mrs. Adler did okay. At shopping? Yes, at shopping. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Don't mention it. I would ride with you again, Mrs. Adler, if you will ride with me. Maybe. <laughs> if you prove you can handle yourself. Well, they say I lack finesse, but I ain't afraid of gun smoke. <laughs> oh, we got this, Arthur. You've already done me a big favor today. Okay, Miss High and Mighty. And... Oh! Oh! Auto save, yes, okay. <laughs> so let's check the map then what we could do here is oh this is dutch he needs to speak all right so let's do that one there is nothing else we can do it seems uh no all right so let's go and speak to dutch Oh? Where? Where, where, where? Who said my name? <laughs> I don't know. Oh well. Dutch is uh, right here, so let's speak to him. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Come on down here. 
don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. All right, Brownie, we're going. We are on, gonna man. go fishing. All right. <laughs> yep. It's a nice day to be fishing. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. A curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago, but what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us, where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a clue of rich simple tins there must be down here oh this is perfect for you hosea you'll be able to play them like a fiddle nothing would give me greater pleasure but no buts not today we fish and we enjoy the day looks like law up ahead play it cool Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Ah, uh -huh, do we need we to help can't him? Sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! <laughs> well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the <laughs> foolish magician. Let's go so no fishing to today. Train. And do not shoot the Cows! Oh come wow. On, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. We'll Brownie wouldn't be faster. Yeah. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Well, the Anderson boys? Robbery, murder, kidnapping, they're the lowest of the low. 
tortured two fellers to within an inch of their lives. We've been after them for five years or more now. Wow. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. You all are a goddamn joke. Oh my god, what did I do? <laughs> Yeah, Brownie, go, 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 go. Ooh, that must have hurt. Oh! Leave him. Stay with that train. Oh, wow, he fell. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Get a move on. Okay, which side? Does it matter? <laughs> Come on, you must be able to get next to it. Faster. Go, 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 Brownie, please. You can do it. Yes, yes, Keep yes. Keep us close to the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. Can you go any faster? I'm trying. Watch out, he's throwing bottles at us. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because <laughs> you ride like my grandmother. Oh my you god. Something else. <laughs> closer. Get us alongside it. Get closer. Okay, I'm trying. You need A little to bit get more. Bastards get away. Brownie, go, 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 go. Come on, get to the side. Can we just Are jump here? Little... No. Let's go. Come on. That didn't work. I, I don't know really no where to shitty. jump, actually. Yeah. And how to jump. <laughs> this is not working. Okay, wow, we have wow, we have to the side of the train. Am I not doing that? Now, jump! Here? How can I jump here? <laughs> here, right? Jump on that train. Yes, okay, we can do it now on square. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Break free on circle. Goodbye. Come on, you stop them, I'll stop the train. You're only making it worse. All right. What? What? We didn't do it. The Anderson boys escaped. Oh. Running ain't gonna help. Go on, don't lose them. I am trying. What? How can we get up here? Oh, oh, square. I mean, I pressed square, but it didn't work at first. Weird. We're gonna lose them again. <laughs> we are so slow. Come on, get up! Oh my god. We need to beat you. Get the hell away from me. Just give up. We are stronger than you. See? Come on. You stop them, I'll stop the train. You hold it right there. Excuse me. Coming through. I'm coming for you next. I'm gonna ride ahead. Oh, here's some meat hanging here. Do we need to bother? Let me go. Can't do that. He has a knife. He actually has a knife. Can we do this? Oh no! We need to take a knife from him. Can we do that? Oh, we got him. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. <sighs> oh, just a oh my god. Oh, we need to pick him up. Okay, let's do that. Bring him out here. Deputy. It sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? 
I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. All right. But why on my horse? There you go. You are a natural. <laughs> All right. Let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Oh, there's some big We're house there. Wow. Here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Okay, we'll do that. Let's carry him. Just bring him here. I hope he's alive, though. <laughs> we hit him pretty hard. Mr. We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? <laughs> I'm renting a caravan. On the edge of town, behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses, and falling out of rebel gold, and marrying cousins, or not marrying... Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it went pretty good. 
Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. <laughs> There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Or have you had enough of the chase for one day? Move out of the darn way. Ah, accept fishing. Let's do sure, it. Oh, why not? Great. Yeah. Well, Julia, <laughs> why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Oh, horse poop! Right in the middle of the street. <laughs> um, horses are coming! Oh, so cute, they all are coming together. Oh. Alright, gentlemen, follow me. Alright, let's go fishing! Yeah, let's go. So, how far is this creek? Bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Yes. Where is this spot, Hosea? Pimbuck too? <laughs> Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen. It was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> oh. We can a fish. Very funny. This is the spot. Down to the left there. All right, we're here. That was a pretty long ride, actually. <laughs> nice! I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Oh, we, well, we can use boats, really. Hey, those are the boats you mean? Yeah. Yes. Wow. Good. Easy. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right, let's do it. No one else is here. Oh, someone is actually out there in the water. <laughs> All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for 
Good luck and stupid fish. Oh, this is what about fun. Stupid luck and good fish. That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Tap X to roll faster. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Okay, we're going really fast. Wow. We're good at rowing. I think here's okay. good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. So, let's equip the fishing really rod. here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big like a sturgeon. What's wrong with a good old worm? Oh. A uh, lake lure. This one down here we are selecting. Oh, are right. Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Okay, that was a bite. Oh, I have a fish already. Oh, no, it didn't work. I did something wrong. Something's nibbling. Ha! Got ya! Shit! Got away. Slowly rotate R to attract fish. Okay, Arthur, yes. You have to catch one at least. <laughs> I'm trying. That feels you don't like have a anything. There Nothing. <laughs> Damn it, I lost him. Let's do it even slower. Come on, fish. Bite. Arthur's got a <gasps> bite. I got a bite. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Come I... on, Arthur. You can't go back empty-handed. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, no. Okay, that's Got better. Not for further away. Got one. Come on, one fish at least. You got something biting, Arthur. That's on the hook, Arthur. Okay, we are doing it now. Let's reel it in. Okay, reel it in again. Now I'm doing it right. All right. I forgot how to fish. <laughs> we did it only once. Hey, look at this. Oh, we got a fish. What fish go. is this? Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. A smallmouth well, bass. Told me once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckon. <laughs> Eaten like baked or that. or Good pan job, fried. Arthur. I, uh, I'm gonna keep it. That'll Why not? Nice. Right. Hey, Jose. You remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, huh, this again? <laughs> I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, oh, yeah. rob someone, and buy some fish. Nicely Another done, Arthur. Run. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and 
Out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised. Oh, this fish! Say, Whoa. Wesley, <laughs> that one was nice struggling a lot. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. You're getting the hang of this. Now, you keep, keep getting the same one? type of fish. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols a large out, amount all over tall bass. trees oh. and great plains we saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers, <laughs> somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. I can't fish anymore. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> so, um, are we done fishing? Hey, Maybe now. I reckon we call it. All right. Fish. Yes. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. We did pretty much already. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Ooh. Could be useful. What about the horses? They'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. Okay. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank mm -hmm. you, boys. It was fun. Now, okay. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right. I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. I couldn't wait till the tears was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. <laughs> what is this song? I wish to God I I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Tears got burned and so did I. Oh. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round and round and round? Shall we go dance this round and round and round? And the air is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round and round and round, round. We care not for those martial men that do our state's disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground of ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! 
Uh, you know, we should not let the folks back at camp think that we had to. <laughs> Oh, is that Jack playing there? <laughs> okay, so we are here. With the boat. All right. That's really nice. I think... I... Well, I mean, we... Had very fun. Be okay. <laughs> I know. Yes. Well, and we are gonna be okay. I always know. Whenever I got... You too, by my side. Things are gonna be just fine. Oh. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Mission complete. All right. So there is a new, new mission showing up here now. Actually, two. Wait, that's not what I wanted to press. Oh, oh hi, hi. Ah, uh, here. Strauss needs to speak to you. Money lending and other sins. Oh, okay. And here is something. What is this grace? Dutch asks you to sniff around Kaliga Hall to see what you can find about the grace. Oh, it's that big house, the mansion. <laughs> the course of true love. All right, so that's what we are gonna do in the next episode. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you so much for watching.